Have you ever wondered what would happen if humans suddenly disappeared from Earth? Imagine, if you will, a world where the hustle and bustle of human life, the ceaseless hum of our machines, our ceaseless communications, our ceaseless movement, all of it, gone in an instant. Think about our vast cities, our towering skyscrapers, our bustling markets. One moment, they're teeming with life and activity, the next, silence. The sounds of car horns, the chatter of pedestrians, the whir of machinery, all fading into nothingness. The cities once the heartbeat of human civilization now stand as silent, empty monuments to a vanished species. But it's not just the cities. Imagine the rural areas, the farms, the villages, the small towns. The fields that were once meticulously tended now lie fallow. The livestock, with no one to feed or care for them, start to roam freely. The quaint homes and barns once filled with warmth and laughter now stand empty and forlorn. All human activities would cease. The planes that once crisscrossed the skies would remain grounded. The ships that once sailed the seas would be docked indefinitely. The factories that once churned out goods cease their production. The internet, a web of global communication that once connected billions, would fall silent. The lights of human civilization, once a beacon in the darkness, would flicker and die. This would be a world void of human influence, a world where the ticking of the clock no longer matters, a world where nature no longer held at bay by human activity begins to reclaim what was once hers. The concrete jungles would start to crumble giving way to actual jungles. The roads and bridges with no one to maintain them would slowly return to dust. The traces of human civilization bit by bit would be erased. What a strange eerie world that would be. A world that was once shaped by human hands, now left to the mercy of time and nature. A world where the only evidence of our existence would be the slowly decaying remnants of our once great civilizations. As the human-made world halts, nature starts to reclaim what was once hers. In the first few days after humans vanish, most of our modern world remains eerily silent. The hum of electricity, once an omnipresent backdrop to our lives is suddenly gone. Power plants no longer manned, cease operation, plunging our once vibrant cities into silence and darkness. Without the constant trudge of human activity, wildlife begins to venture into urban areas. Deer wander down former highways, birdsong replaces the downtown hustle and bustle, and plant life starts to sprout through cracks in the concrete. Meanwhile, our pets and livestock face a grim reality. Without human intervention, they begin to feel the pangs of hunger. Domesticated animals, dependent on us for their sustenance, start breaking free, instinct driving them to seek out food on their own. In this new world devoid of humans, the animal kingdom reigns supreme. As the lights go out around the globe, a new world order begins to take shape. Fast forward a few years into this humanless world and the changes become more drastic. Concrete jungles once teeming with human life now stand deserted. Nature, being the relentless force that it is, doesn't hesitate to reclaim its lost territory. Vines creep up skyscrapers intertwining with steel and glass. Streets, once bustling with traffic, are overrun by wildflowers and grass, pushing through cracks in the asphalt. The urban landscape, once meticulously manicured, is now an overgrown wilderness. Our architectural marvels bereft of human maintenance begin to crumble under the relentless assault of time and weather. The Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, the Great Wall of China, all start to decay, eventually succumbing to rust and rot. Even the mighty pyramids of Egypt having withstood millennia aren't immune to this inevitable decay. Meanwhile wildlife flourishes. With their biggest threat, humans, out of the picture, animal populations explode. Deer, bears, wolves and other creatures roam freely, their territories expanding into what were once human habitats. Predators thrive, and the balance of nature restores itself. However, not all animals fare well in this new world order. Domesticated animals like dogs and cats, struggle to survive. Bred for companionship rather than survival, many of these animals face extinction. The loss of these creatures, once our closest companions, is a poignant reminder of our vanished presence. Yet, one of the most significant changes is unseen but catastrophic. Nuclear power plants abandoned and unmonitored undergo meltdowns. Radioactive materials spill into surrounding areas creating exclusion zones devoid of life. While nature can adapt to many changes, radiation on this scale poses a serious threat. Despite these challenges, life persists, adapts and evolves. Amid the ruins of human civilization a wilder world emerges, a world that is more untamed and free. The Earth, in its resilience, heals and adjusts to a world without us. 
Within a few years, Earth starts to look vastly different, wilder and more untamed. Scene script. Zoom ahead a few decades, and the Earth would be unrecognizable. The planetary facelift would be underway, a complete rewilding of our blue sphere. Nature, in its relentless pursuit of equilibrium, would have begun reclaiming the space that was once dominated by human-made structures. Concrete jungles would be replaced by actual jungles, as skyscrapers, houses and roads surrender to the unstoppable force of growth and decay. The colossal steel and glass structures that once pierced the sky would crumble under the weight of time, their skeletal remains consumed by a riot of green. Nature would reclaim its space, with vines strangling the life out of abandoned buildings, and trees breaking through the tarmac of deserted roads. An unchallenged wildlife would flourish, evolving and adapting to fill the ecological niches left vacant by humanity's exit. New ecosystems would arise, shaped by the creatures that survive and thrive. The once endangered species could make a comeback, and new dominant species could evolve, creating a wild, diverse, and dynamic biosphere. In the absence of human activity, the planet would cool. The ceaseless churning of factories, the exhaust fumes from millions of vehicles, the constant burning of fossil fuels, all of it would be a thing of the past. No more greenhouse gases would be pumped into the atmosphere, allowing the Earth's climate to slowly recover. The polar ice caps would stop their retreat, and the ocean levels might even begin to fall. In the silence left by humanity's departure, the Earth would heal. The scars we left behind would fade, replaced by a verdant wild planet, teeming with life. The Earth would continue spinning, orbiting the Sun, indifferent to the absence of its most ambitious occupants. Decades into the future, the Earth has healed and evolved, with almost no trace of its former human inhabitants. Now imagine the Earth hundreds of thousands, even millions of years into the future without humans. As centuries turn into millennia, the animal kingdom, unhindered by human intervention, would continue to evolve. New dominant species would emerge, adapting to the transformed landscapes. Perhaps the descendants of crows and dolphins known for their intelligence would rise to dominance, or maybe some unforeseen species would take the throne, their evolution spurred by the absence of mankind. All traces of our civilization would eventually disappear. Concrete structures, once the symbols of our progress, would crumble to dust. The wind and rain would erode the last remaining signs of our cities and monuments, leaving no trace of our existence. Even the Great Wall of China and the Pyramids of Egypt, our most enduring artifacts, would be reclaimed by nature. The plastic we've left behind however might tell a different story. These remnants could fossilize leaving a layer of techno-fossils in the geological record, a testament to the Anthropocene era. While it's fascinating to ponder the possibilities of new life forms, we mustn't forget the potential for another intelligent species. Evolution given enough time could once again stumble upon the recipe for intelligence. A new sentient species could rise, create, and maybe even wonder about the strange layer of techno-fossils beneath their feet. And what about the nuclear radiation you might ask? Over time, even this would fade. The radioactive isotopes from our nuclear power plants and weapons would eventually decay. Chernobyl, Fukushima and other nuclear disaster sites would return to normal radiation levels, allowing life to reclaim these areas fully. So, in this distant future, Earth would have healed its wounds. It would be a world reborn, a world reshaped and repopulated by nature's hand, a world where humanity's influence has been scrubbed away, leaving only subtle hints of our fleeting existence. In the grand scheme of Earth's history, humanity's mark is but a fleeting shadow. So what does this hypothetical scenario tell us? It paints a vivid picture of the resilience and adaptability of nature. Even in the absence of humanity, life on Earth continues to evolve, adapt, and flourish. From the smallest microorganism to the largest mammal, life finds a way. Our temporary presence when viewed on a geological timescale is but a fleeting moment, yet the scars we leave behind are deep and long-lasting. The cities we build, the forests we fell, and the carbon we pump into the atmosphere all have consequences. But it's not a doom and gloom story. This thought experiment serves as a reminder of our responsibility to the planet. It challenges us to reflect on our current impact on the environment and what steps we can take to reduce it. It encourages us to seek ways to coexist with nature, instead of dominating it. The Earth was here long before us, and it will continue long after we're gone. Our legacy lies in how we choose to live with it now.